Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we have some really interesting topics to discuss with you guys. We're talking about sideloading on iOS 17 which is finally coming and of course we have some big news regarding iOS 18. I know it's really early, but it's great news, but we're going to talk about that in a second now. Now, first of all, let's start with some features of iOS 17.2 beta 2, which we haven't mentioned before. Now, first of all, we're talking about Siri. Siri has improved a bit on iOS 17.2, and now it can also show you health data. So for example, I can ask Siri, how many steps did I take today? And as you can see right there, it does show me the results as easy as that. So you can ask for any health data you want. Also, we have a change on the TV app on iOS 17.2. So on iOS 17.2, Apple has made some minor changes here on the TV app, but it also has added iTunes movies and shows to the TV app. So you now will be able to find those on the TV app without having to use the iTunes app. Also on the music app, if you go to music right here, you go to your albums, under your library, under your albums, you tap right there on the filter, you can see that now you can select the recently added albums, which was a feature on iOS before, but I don't know why Apple had removed it and now it's back with the second beta of iOS 17.2. Now, when it comes to this update, performance is actually really good. And as you can see right here, this is the Geekbench score for the second beta of iOS 17.2. The single core score, great there, 2,956. While we have also really great score with the multi-core score there at 7,357. Most likely, these will be improved with the next betas. And of course, should be way better until the final release of iOS 17.2. But again, even now on the second beta, the score is really great. And now let's move on and talk about something really important, which is of course battery life. Head on into battery right here in the last last 10 days right here. We can see we have like four or five days here with the second beta of iOS 17.2. And you can see here we have about 65% battery, six hours, three minutes, while here we have about 55% battery, seven hours, 20 minutes. And right here, we also have at exactly 50% battery, six hours and 20 minutes, which in my experience using iOS 17, this is actually great. The battery life on iOS 17.2 seems to be better than 17.1. It has improved quite a bit. So if you're worrying about battery life, this update will actually be quite good. And now let's move on and talk about something really important side loading on iOS. So basically side loading is allowing you to install apps out of the app store. Just like on Mac, you know that you can choose to download an app from the app store, but you also are able to actually download other apps from like websites and things like that. So with iOS 17.2, Apple is moving forward and allowing side loading, which should be allowed, you know, according to the EU laws in 2024, Apple has actually to add this feature to iOS, so it is expected that it will be here. But of course, now according to 9 to 5 Mac, and of course the code that has been found within iOS 17.2, right here you can see iOS 17.2 seems ready to allow alternative app stores. Basically, devs will be able to create their own app stores from where you can get apps and install them on your iPhone. You know that previously we could do that, but that was basically something like you shouldn't do, but now Apple is officially preparing to allow side loading. So iOS 17.2 has a new public framework called managed app distribution. This is basically the groundwork they're putting on on iOS 17.2 to allow side loading. Now, whether this will be allowed until the final release of iOS 17.2 or not, we'll have to wait for that, or maybe it will happen on a next update, but the code is there. And right here, you can see according to this report from 9 to 5 Mac, they have found a new unused entitlement that will give third-party apps permission to install other apps. In other words, this will allow devs to create their own app stores from where you can actually officially download and install apps into your iOS 17 device. So that was great news, but we also have some more great news regarding iOS 18. 
I know we are far away from iOS 18. It will be released on its first beta sometime in June, probably at the beginning of the June. So we're like, what, eight months away from the first beta. But we have a report here from Mark Grumman, who is our very trusted source when it comes to iPhone and iOS related stuff. And here's what he said iOS 18 is said to be a groundbreaking update with major new features and designs. So basically what Apple is doing here since the iPhone 16 won't have any major advances over the current iPhone 15, Apple is looking to actually push iOS 18 and make it a better update so of course people are more interested on the new iPhone and most likely it will have a lot of new features which will be exclusive to the new iPhone which will basically be the selling point of the new iPhone 16 since it's not expected to have any like major advances from the current iPhone that we have the iPhone 15 but again iOS 18 is looking to be a great update hopefully we'll see a lot of redesigns maybe an overall design of iOS which would be great and of course it hasn't happened since iOS 7 now we're on iOS 17 so 10 years no like major upgrade to iOS hopefully it will happen this year with iOS 18 and it looks like it could be that Hopefully it will happen, but again, we will have to wait for about eight months to see the first beta of iOS 18 and see all the cool new features and changes. So what's next regarding iOS releases? Well, taking a look here at iOS 17, you can see that the build number for iOS 17 beta 2 actually ends with a G, which means that we will have a few more updates, a few more betas. Most likely Apple will move on to a weekly schedule from now and probably tomorrow or Wednesday they will release the third beta of iOS 17. But even if that happens, we'll probably like a month away from the public release of iOS 17. So we could see another three betas than the RC version and then the release or at least another two betas before we get to iOS 17.2, the public release. Until then, we might have another update. So we're currently on iOS 17.1.1. And there is still a bug remaining on iOS. We thought that has been fixed, but it's actually still here. The Wi-Fi bug, basically the Wi-Fi connection dropping a lot and not being as strong as it should. That is still persistent on iOS 17.1.1. So we might get another update for iOS 17.1.2 to fix that bug and of course other security improvements and all that as usual Apple does but it's very very likely that in the next couple of weeks we see that update coming out to iOS users of course before we get the final release of iOS 17.2. As far as the final release, we'll of course get it before the holiday season, so we could expect it most likely somewhere here, 11th or 12th of December, or maybe 18th or 19th. These are the two beginnings of the two weeks that we will get iOS 17.2 released to the public, and then of course we'll go on a pause here until we move in the next year 2024 before we get the first beta of iOS 17.3. So that's basically it for this video guys. iOS 17.2 seems to be a great update. Of course it has quite a lot of new features but of course side loading is the main topic of this update. Let's see if it will happen with this update or we will have to wait for iOS 17.3. And of course iOS 18 is looking to be amazing according to the first reports so that's all great news. So that's that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did smash the like button of course subscribe for more info on ios 17 and i'll see you on the next one